we get here. And today I have the Springfield XDM uh, compact in chambered in 45 ACP. Uh, this is a friend of mine, Hunter's Pistol. I want to thank him for letting me borrow it right here. And basically this is, yeah, Springfield's compact line right here. They do have a full size line, which is just, I believe they're called the XDs. Um, and this pistol comes with two magazines. It, it does look big, and the reason it looks big is because it has an extended mag on here right now. And uh, this magazine holds 13 rounds, and I believe the regular magazine, it's either eight or 10. I can't remember, don't quote me on that. But the regular magazine is flush fitting. And one of the attractions my buddy bought this pistol for was the gun can be concealed very easily because most of your printing happens with the grip right there and as you can see you have a shorter grip right there but it also shoots like a full-size gun too so that was pretty cool when I first looked at this gun he showed it to me I was like wow that's a hand cannon you know with that little grip on there and um, you know it's just like I bet that thing's got a lot of recoil and we went out shooting and you know another Vermont guy and a bunch of us went out shooting I shot, I've shot it a few times and as soon as I shot it, I liked it right away and I was like wow it, it's a lot tamer than you think it would be you know for this large of a you know a caliber and a polymer gun you know that's definitely a, a compact gun 3.8 inch barrel on it so you know, I was, uh, you know, I, I it was one of those guns I shot it and I liked it right away. And I was like, this is great. And I was like, yeah, I got to borrow this uh, to, to do a review on it. Here on the barrel, it says match. So, you know, I'm guessing that's a match grade barrel right there. You see, it says compact, 3.8 inches. But um, let's go ahead and we'll take a few shots with it right here. And uh, so we're going to shoot at my big target out there. We're not that far away from it. We're maybe probably call this 10 to 12 yards uh, so we got a loaded chamber indicator right there you can see it pop up Glasses are fogging up a touch. That's my so you can see I can shoot this pretty well and I don't have a ton of rounds through this. You know, I bet I've only got 50 rounds through it, but you know, you can see it function flawlessly. It locks back on the empty mag. Um, you know, this, this is a fantastic firearm. And I gotta say, a lot of times I don't like the extended magazines but uh, this one definitely feels pretty good, and it feels like I'm f shooting a full-size gun, definitely a duty gun, you know. I don't feel like, uh, you know, th th like there's, you know, there's, I'm not giving up anything shooting this gun right here at that extended mag right there. You know, and, and 13 rounds of uh, 45 is, uh, is pretty serious business, and it's piled all the brass up right there. I'd say it's in about a... Uh, 30 inch diameter circle right there so that's pretty good and definitely better than a 1911 and I wouldn't recommend this for a first time shooter but if you've already got a nine millimeter you know and you're looking for something with some more stopping power that's a good range gun good home defense gun and that you can carry this is this is this is a good choice um, you know one knock on this gun I know some people complain about but it does not bother me at all are these the grip safeties right there the way it kind of works like a 1911 and as you can see you know, so basically, as soon as you grab the gun, it, it's the safety's off right there. And that's the only safety in this firearm right there. It's going to be right there. Um, you know, so some people complain about that. I don't think that's a problem. It's the same thing as the 1911 style safety. It doesn't bother me one bit. Uh, but as you can see from my group there, I can definitely shoot it pretty accurately. We're going to go ahead. We're going to load it up one more. I'm going to shoot at that top uh, right hand target and try to get a real good group for you guys and just show the accuracy of this gun right here um and those other holes in it those are 300 blackout holes uh from some for earlier shooting my ar so let's go ahead and load this magazine one more time 
So what we're going to shoot right now, we're going to shoot some Winchester a PDX1 Defender. I like this ammo, it's worked well for me in the past. This is definitely, it's not plus P, but it's definitely on the hotter side right there. As you can see, we've got 920 feet of velocity at the muzzle and 432 foot-pounds, you know, out of 230 grain uh, hollow point ammunition. So this is going to get us some good, uh, some good bang right there. There's our magazine right there. As you can see, it's tapered up. It counts down to 12 rounds right there, but it does hold 13. Um, and this is the one with the grip. I did not bring the flush fitting one, but it, uh, it, it, you know, that one works fine. That one works equally fine. And it's a good carry magazine. So we've got some of our Winchex, Winchester uh, PDX right here loaded up, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna shoot our target right there. We're gonna shoot the top right one. We're really gonna go for some good accuracy right here, and uh, out of this firearm, and uh, see what we can get. You know, also racking it, you can definitely feel that heavy 45 ACP spring in there. You're definitely not ra racking a 9mm. Not my finest group. Looks like I, I might have lost the sights on the black right there. These are uh, black three-dot sights right here, so I might have lost them. But I definitely lost the first three bullets, it looks like. But as you can see, I definitely slung the other five or six right in there. So we've got our last mag loaded up here, and this is with just with the Remington 230-grain um, ball ammo. And uh, that Winchester is definitely on the hotter side. And I'm going to go for our last target right here that's clean try to get a real good group on it. We're going to cheat a little bit. I just hold my glasses down just a hair so um, I can see these sights line up with that uh, <coughs> with that black target back there. It is overcast today and I, you know, I'm not, I don't think I was seeing that top one quite as well as I would have liked to. So that was 12 rounds. That, that's really good. I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera right around on that. So here's my last group right here. Um, that was with the Winchester uh, PDX and I kind of lost the sights right there looking through my sunglasses. Uh, but that was my last one where I cheated and I pulled up my sunglasses. As you can see the difference between my vision. That was the same shooting spot, uh, just on an overcast day looking through these. Uh, these are rich polarized, uh, you know, they're made for the marine environment. So, and you can see that was my last target there. All 12 bullets were right in that little six inch disc right there, uh, you know, well in there, um, you know, at probably about uh, 10, 12 yards in that vicinity. Uh, you know, but I, I'm real happy with that. And just shows this is a good shooter, you know, and if you do your part, this, this Springfield will do its part. Um, you know, just another quick notes on this. Uh, you know, it's got your regular magazine release. It also has an ambu release too. If you take a look at it, you can release it as a lefty, or else you can release it as a righty right there. Um, this gun is made in Croatia right here, Springfield Armory. All the X XDs are, I believe, um, yeah, made in Croatia. You know, as like the 1911s, those are made in the States on some of the other ones. But this is a fantastic firearm. Again, I would not recommend it for a beginner, but um, you know, if you're an experienced shooter, you want a good range gun and something you can carry, conceal carry, that's a big bore, this will fit the, the, the picture, you know. And I'm gonna put give this a gun an A and put it up there in the tier with, uh, this is definitely in the caliber of a Glock, definitely in the caliber of a Springfield, uh, you know, m &P. as far as these, um, top-notch a quality polymer guns these days you know uh you could throw it in there with the you know the h and k of the vp9 there's just so many good polymer guns out there and this is definitely uh springfield xds are one of them and i've shot an xd9 of my buddies 
uh, and that, that was also an excellent gun. But th this thing is really outstanding. If, if you can shoot and you're comfortable with a little more recoil, uh, you know, and you want a big bore gun, this thing's a lot of fun. Uh, you know, and definitely a good carry option. But, um, but thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you have any questions, uh, you know, post them below. Um, you know, get back. I love to get back to questions quickly. And, um, you know, feel free to subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. You want a good range, good home defense, good carry gun, and big bore, Springfield XDM Compact. Go buy one.